Hey guys, good morning. So right now it's raining here in Florence and it's a bit windy. Anyway, I am on my way to San Ambrogio because I am going to meet up with my friend Martina. We are going to try out the sandwich inside um, Mercato di San Ambrogio. And it will be our first time, so we should get going now because it's raining hard. time to enter San Ambrogio Market so yeah it's gonna be exciting and maybe I'll give you guys a, um, a quick tour inside because I myself haven't explored this place yet so yeah we finally arrived by the way so um, let's look for, uh, for my friend Martina Testing, testing, Sofia testing, testing, testing. Okay. So guys, we are finally here inside the market and I am here with Martina. Ciao. Her name is Memento Martina on Instagram. And um, since it's my first time here, she will be, if it's okay with you, be giving us a tour inside the supermarket. And later on, we're gonna have the panini. Okay. Yes. <laughs> There's a little tiny restaurant. Yeah. A super cute, really traditionally Tuscan and Florentine restaurant, and it's tiny. We have the kitchen back there. Yeah. And then here, there's the tables, and they jut out into the hallway. Do they have like a um, specialty here? Uh, yes, they have uh, the let's see the pears, caramelized oh. pears is something that they make and they make really well. Then you can ciao, 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 ciao. 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 Then they have all the pinacchi, they have the it's, uh, it's one of the core things of this place, and it's really affordable. Really? I've never tried this one. It's delicious. guys but I am turning red after you know drinking this small glass of wine and I am not sure if I want to get another glass but yeah I think I'm gonna get another one what is this called so this is the big Florence it is a bun with a polpetta meatball with lettuce and then i cacciate which is uh, their answer to American ketchup uh -huh. and it is uh, the whole sandwich is a little um, a little joke yeah. a little wink yeah. towards this uh, very famous other company American company that does something called a big Mac ah, but big this Mac. is Big Florence <laughs> Big Florence then here we have uh, the panino con uvetta and polpettone mm. polpettone is meatloaf mm -hmm. 
the bread has raisins in it, which is typical. And then the sauce is a salsa la Livornese. It's a Livornese style sauce with mm -hmm. a tomato and a lots of very powerful flavors. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. Capers. It's not ketchup at all. Yes, it's so good. I highly recommend this place. It's so good. So this is Castagnaccio. It is one of the very few, I think, wait, okay. This is Castagnaccio. It is one of the rare Tuscan desserts and it's barely sweet at all. It's made with chestnut flour from the Garfagnana area of Tuscany. It has Tuscan pine nuts, raisins, and traditionally it also has rosemary in it. So this one is called minestrone and what is this like a um, typical minestrone is a tus mi minestrone is a typical Italian soup made with vegetables usually it has a uh, kale carrots and potatoes and a uh, vegetable hello Sofia's friends so today we are in the Sant'Ambrogio market which is in the homonymous neighborhood of Sant'Ambrogio in Piazza Ghiberti and uh, this market is in architecture very similar to the San Lorenzo market, the central market that you'll find closer to the Duomo. But contrarily to that one, it only has one floor and it's all of the original stands that have been here for years and years and years. And it is filled with locals doing their shopping and with people now that it's 1.30. Uh, lining up for lunch and there are different options here you can have panini from the panini stands and maybe you can stop at the Trattoria del Rocco which is the little restaurant that is right here or else after that you can have a little cafe at the bar on the corner you can do your shopping for the day there's butchers there's fishmongers there's fruit and vegetable stands there's also the Civaiole which is a stand that sells there's also the Cernacchine Cernacchino which is a stand that sells all of those things that uh, you would buy sfuso, so like they have coffee, they have beans, they have all sorts of things that you keep in your pantry to use as you go. Let's uh, take a little walk around. Yeah, especially one of my favorite things. Especially with um, Vincento, right? Si! <laughs> <laughs> so, see, you can buy dried fruits here, dried for fruits. example. Yeah. This is really nice rice. This Aquarello brand, yeah. it's one of the best. See, this is like the Civaiole section. Civaiole basically is a traditional, it's an old Tuscan Italian word. I don't know exactly which one. You'll have to fact check this. Okay, yeah, I'll check it. But this is what the Civaiole would sell. And it's a kind of store that doesn't really exist anymore. Mm, okay. So that's cool. Li mettono anche nel panettone e questi canditi hanno questi boccioni tipo anche tutti i meloni a pezzi come si faceva una volta a candire. Questi canditi quando te li trovi mangiando sono delicati, sono proprio senti la frutta oltre che lo zucchero. Una cosa ti si, ti si sciolgono in bocca. 
e quindi questo panettone ci hanno acquistato anche il pandoro qui sentirà proprio il fico che candiscono loro proprio Do you like uh, pan forte? Uh, uh, Have you ever tried it? Abbiamo spaventato, ci tolgo la voce. Ho detto scusami un attimo, ma io avevo già provato Riccerelli. No, lo fa con te. È come un Christmas tree. Sì, è un tipico from Siena. Sì, sì, lo ricordo. Non è un interesse. Ci siamo anche noi in foto, eh? Ci siamo anche noi. Oui. Bye bye, ciao ciao. So right now, um, Martina is going to explain to us how people here order their coffee. Wait, I'll turn the camera. Tell me if you want to like do it again. Okay. So the most important thing is to start saying buongiorno or buonasera. Yes, exactly. And uh, then you can just lean on the counter and uh, you ask uh, If you just say un caffè, they know that that is espresso because that's what caffè is. You can order it macchiato, which is with a little bit of milk and it's like a miniature cappuccino. You can order cappuccino. Cappuccino is uh, not the most common thing to have in the afternoon because it's too much milk and it bothers Italian stomachs. And another thing is caffè corretto with a little bit of a liqueur if you want a little extra kick. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Then you drink it fast. Coffee is not something that you really linger at, especially if you order it at the counter because if there's a lot of people coming through and you don't want to occupy too much space. You drink it and then you must get out. That's very important. while you're standing. So we just finished exploring Sant'Ambrogio Market and <laughs> what did you say? Beautiful. Of course. <laughs> of course. So we just finished exploring Santa Brojo Market and thank you so much Martina for showing us around. We've learned a lot. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao!